Hello YouTubers and Undying Doctor Who's now. Um, I'm now back with another review and this time on the Dalek drone side. Get the camera in a comfortable position. Um, so, I'll start with the box and uh, then proceed on to this brilliant figure. Pretty much the same as any other do uh, Doctor Who box. You've got the Doctor Who logo. The characters option logo. Mm -hmm. uh, the Dalek drone, which it says Dalek drone. Um, and the bit where Dalek stands with the vortex behind. You also have the Doctor Who logo and it's a, on the other side as well. And it says Dalek drone. This box is thicker than others uh, because the Dalek is very big. It says highly detailed posable figures, BBC logo and plus 5 plus and new figure. Um, and then on to the back, highly detailed posable figures, 5 plus, company information and available figures include, which you already know because I read it out in the Amy Pond review. Um, so yeah, let's get on to the figure. So here it is, the Red Run Dalek. Start with the detail. I'll start with the obvious that the red is a very nice colour and actually on this camera it doesn't look orange which is quite a surprise. Anyway, the eye is very well detailed with the little pupil in the middle with orange around it and the actual eye thing with lines leading into it. And the eye stalk with the black rings around it and a little ball at the end. The ears are much better than the old ones, much more simple. This bit I always think looks like a Christmas tree, but hey, uh, very well detailed with holes in every single one of them. And there is one, two, three, four, four of them. Then onto the mid section where there's a line going through the whole thing. And then you have a sucker arm, which is the same length as the old. Then you have the new Dalek gun, which is this black thing in the middle, that's longer than old longer than the old ones. Then you have this new design where it's got these ridges between them all and there's this bit where it's, it's like doubled inside the uh, double in size the ridges bit and that's two, one on each side. You have four balls on each one, four spheres. Then onto the bottom bit it is bigger than usual and much more simpler and you have three wheels right for an easy glide and easy turns and all that but this is carpet so it doesn't really work so on to articulation the head can do a 360 rotational turn um, the head, the eye stalk can go up and down not side to side and I'm not going to try it Oh, and one more thing for the details. I can't remember who told me this. I think it was Doctor Who Toy Reviews. Um, he said that this bit at the back, it said in the confidential, uh, will slide down and it will reveal, reveal a weapon. I don't know whether that's true or not. That's what I heard. Anyway, the exterminator arm goes up and down and all round. Let me just get that all round and the sucker arm also goes up and down and all around and the wheels can turn all around, all three of them and obviously the wheel turns um, so yeah, that's about it for this review nothing really much to it but it's a very good figure and I rate it 10 out of 10 um, so yeah so thanks for watching and I will be back with the newly flight control TARDIS. Bye.